So, uh, hi, afternoon. Uh, I'm going to talk about agent-based modeling and simulation with Simulink. So let's see the challenge we're facing. You want to simulate thousands of cars in the city, thousands of drone traffic in the sky try to make the final deliver, a thousand of robots working in a warehouse to package stuff. So what are the things in common? First, you need to simulate large number of entities of different fidelity and properties. Second, these entities will dynamically change during simulation. And finally, you have to simulate extremely large number of simulation scenarios for this kind of simulation. So what is our vision? We all know about dynamic models. Traditionally, dynamic models means models to simulate dynamic systems. However, for the problems we're facing right now, the content of the model will be dynamic changing too. And also, the model's logic will determine how the model will be changed during simulation. So let's see a very practical example, land merging of self-driving cars. Typical traffic, emergency with a land closed, or even this, 50 lines of car try to merge together. You want your model to simulate all these scenarios with, without too much change. So uh, what are we needed for simulating this kind of models? We need a large model capable of simulating the following things. A number of cars dynamically entering and leaving the merging zone, different type of cars plus different drivers, of course, and uh, different uh, uh, geometric uh, situations like interaction, weather, time, road conditions, and events that car have to react to, like sudden brake, change in steering, sensor failure, extra. So one possible solution is called agent-based modeling with model-based design. So what is agent-based modeling? It means simulation of interactions of the environment, in this case, the road, and the entities, for example, the cars. These cars are autonomous, heterogeneous, and in nature, they can be simulated in parallel. And they have different lifespans. Cars come and go, right? So the, the modeling approach we take is we need to model the world, basically the environment that the agents will reside, or we call scenario sometimes. Also, we need to simulate the agents, which is a heterogeneous entities with the dynamics you want to simulate maybe with high fidelity or low fidelity. And you need a broker, basically, to handle all the data exchange among entities and the entities and the world. Of course, we want to use model-based design. So here's a simple example. We call it line merging. We try to simulate the traffic right in front of Natick MassWorks headquarters. People try to go home at 6 p.m., so we want to merge with the main line. So most of the mass workers are very nice drivers. You can see they try to merge very safely. But occasionally, there are exceptions for this, for this one. Oh. <laughs> Fortunately, we have a very good driving strategy to avoid a car accident. So how we did this? We cut this piece into uh, this model into three parts. First, the road. You need to have a road, and you need to be able to inject cars into this road and maybe infinite number of cars if you want to simulate very long time. Second, you need to model the cars, and actually you need to model of a lot of cars, because the cars on the road can be from different places, different types, different drivers. And finally, you have a data communication to hook these things up. Also, with very little change, the road condition change is not land merging anymore, it's land changing. So the same thing, we can reuse the cars. The only thing we change is the road. We can change the line merging scenario to line changing scenario. Of course, other than driving cars, you can use the same uh, model structure to simulate a mine plant. Uh, the diggers and truckers try to work it get together to get something done. You want to optimize some, uh, for example, a productivity. Still, the model is still in one or uh, three parts, the mine plant, the the agents, the garden truckers, and the com communications among these machines. So many applications, same models. So in summary, the components of agent-based design in MD, MBD composed of three parts. The agents, basically the dynamics part. The world is the, uh, the, the environment, the simulation scenario, and the broker that communicates uh, among all these entities. 